Acts 11, 27 and 28. In the days, in these days, prophets came down from Jerusalem to Antioch. Um, it's weird that it mentions prophets because the word was the gospel at this point. So this could be men proclaiming the gospel. Or this could be prophets that aren't followers of God coming to see what this movement is. And it's not real clear to me who they are because this text don't say. But either way, they're coming down to Antioch because of the commotion of the church. One of them named Agabus stood up and prophesied by the Spirit which means the Spirit came upon him, because I don't believe it mentions him being a believer yet, that the world would come, be a great famine throughout all the world, which came to pass in the days of Claudius Caesar. So by the time Acts was pinned down, this happened. So to think, well, this is a future... No, it says right there, it happened in the days of Claudius Caesar. What does this mean? That the church had opportunity to prepare for this. That the church could use knowing this to help bring people to the faith. And save people, provide vision. I don't know necessarily. There is debate whether God still speaks in this way today, warning things or not. But we see here he did. So here's the thing. When God's word comes, we can do mainly two things. Follow it. Or ignore it. Ignore it, disobey, all that sinful side of it. Righteous side, do it. Allow it to change us, move us. 